national interest disputes under the law in disputes causing or likely to cause a strike or lockout in an industry indispensable to the national interest. The Secretary of Labor is empowered to assume jurisdiction over the dispute and decide it or certify the dispute to the NLRC for compulsory uh, arbitration. No. So if the Secretary of Labor assumes jurisdiction over a labor dispute or certifies the dispute to the NLRC for compulsory arbitration, a strike or lockout, whether actual or intended, is automatically enjoined. So what does this mean? It means that the strikers must return to work and the employer must put an end to the lockout. And the employer must readmit the strikers or the locked out employees under the same terms and conditions before the uh, strike or lockout. Now, readmit all, all workers. What does it mean? Now, the, the workers who can be readmitted are only those strikers who did not commit illegal acts during the uh, strike. Now, how about the phrase under the same terms and condition prevailing before the strike or lockout? Well, this contemplates actual or physical reinstatement and not payroll reinstatement. Although in some exceptional cases, uh, 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 payroll reinstatement may be resorted to, especially when actual or physical reinstatement is rendered impracticable. A case in point here is the USD case, uh, where the teachers were uh, uh, placed on payroll reinstatement because the teachers cannot be given back their uh, teaching assignments because the uh, return to work order or the assumption order was issued in the middle of the semester. So it is not uh, feasible anymore to uh, physically <clears throat> reinstate them. <coughs> uh, another uh, example would be the case of Ducit Hotel. Remember that in the Ducit Hotel, the waiters uh, uh, reported to work with the shaven heads, uh, now they cannot be ordered reinstatement, reinstated because uh, uh, they cannot be ordered physically reinstated because precisely because they were not allowed to work because they violated the grooming uh, standards. Uh, so they were uh, placed merely in the uh, payroll. So what will happen if strikers defy the, return, the assumption or certification order? Oh, well, <clears throat> all strikers, whether union officers or plain members, may be declared to have lost their employment status. 